Okay, this will be dope. Finding proper sounds for your track can be difficult. You are trying to sample something. You are browsing the internet looking for sounds you could use. Unfortunately, you find nothing interesting. You can make your life easy and use a synthesizer to create every sound you desire. Hello and welcome to another industrial techno tutorial. Four weeks ago, we made a pounding kick drum. Today, you will learn making distorted, gritty pads. The pad I will show you today comes from one of my tracks, which I will release on Stab Music Label in mid-January. If you struggle with finding sounds for your music, then watch the whole tutorial. I will show you how to make interesting sounds, which will make your music outstanding. I will use Massive Synthesizer, coupled with Isotope Trash 2, and SGA1566 distortion plugins. I dropped a massive synthesizer onto a new channel. For a good starting point, let's pick a proper waveform. I recommend waveforms from analog electric and digital hybrid categories. They have a lot of harmonics and sound rich. I picked a silver waveform. With the wavetable position at 2 o'clock, this waveform sounds like this. I drew a simple melody for this pad. Let's go back to the synthesizer to make things serious. I will add white noise to give the sound more texture. Now, let's add some comp filtering, which will give us a metallic layer. I set a rather low pitch. With damping set to 2 o'clock, we will not add a lot of high frequencies. We will not hear any change in sound, when the feedback knob is turned all to the left. The feedback knob dictates the amount of comp filter influence over the sound. I will modulate this knob with two different LFOs. The speed of both LFOs is the same, but the shapes are different. Here I have a square wave and here a sine wave. I will assign both of them to control the feedback in time. I will modulate the white noise amplitude with two different LFOs as well. This LFO uses another shape, a combination of a square wave and a ramp wave. To give the sound more movement, I will modulate the wavetable position with another LFO. Let's add some effects. The browner tube and feedback will distort the sound. This synthesizer sounds dry. I will add reverb to give it some space. If you watched my industrial techno kick tutorial, you can see I'm using again a combination of distortion and reverb. These two effects give a lot of content to many sounds. Our job in Massive is done. I will add now external effects. The first part of this video ends here. If you like this tutorial so far, give this video a thumbs up. As a musician, with 10 years of experience, I drop tutorials related to sound design and music mixing 
every two weeks. If this sounds interesting to you, then subscribe to my channel. The first one will be a low pass filter. I want to cut a lot of unpleasant high frequencies. This will make the pad less irritating. After filtering, I'm adding the SGA1566 distortion plugin to overdrive the sound. The last effect is a high pass filter. I will play this pad along with the kick drum so I can't have low frequencies here. I will open the project with the mixed track to show you how I processed this pad further. In the mixing project, I rendered the pad to my drum rack channel. I put another set of effects here. The most important one is the equalizer. The frequency spectrum shows that the frequency of 306 Hz is the loudest one. It creates an ugly resonance. Let me solo that frequency. I'm sure you could hear it in the whole sound. To fix this, I will use a bell filter with a large attenuation and Q value. The second resonance occurs in the 584 Hz area. I will solo now this frequency as well. This resonance isn't loud, but you will definitely hear an improvement once I cut it with another bell filter. The attenuation is smaller, but it's high enough. When mixing this pad with the kick drum, I decided to cut even more low end. I'm using another high pass filter and a low shelf filter to compensate the attenuation of 200 Hz area. Another interesting thing is reverb, which is more and more present in time. This makes the arrangement more interesting. I will play now the mixed track to show you the final pad sound. Notice how this pad complements the kick drum. Listen how reverb builds tension before the next section of the track.
The massive synthesizer is really massive. When combined with external effects, you can create very complex and original sounds. Which synthesizer do you use? Let me know in the comments. The key ingredient here is experimenting and learning your tools. With experience, you will create such sounds fast and forget about using samples. Want to learn more about sound design? I have a whole playlist with such tutorials on the end screen you see now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to not miss any future music production tutorials. Thanks for watching, see you next time.